Hello, Brooklyn Frontiers Humanities class. This is uh, a quick video, about three minutes, uh, for March 26th, Thursday. We're going to continue our discussion of 1930 to 1950, focused today mostly on the 1950s. Um, uh, you're going to open up the slideshow for today, which is 3.26.20. Uh, slide number two just reminds you of our important concepts. There are 12 of them. Slide number three is a review of yesterday, um, talking about the painting by Francis Bacon and the painting by Willem de Kooning. That's slide three. Slide four is a review of Rebel Without a Cause, which you guys looked at yesterday. Slide five is where today's class officially begins. It is a painting by Jackson Pollock, very famous, very big. Um, take a look at it. Spend a few minutes looking at it. If you, if you feel like you can't see it clearly, Google it. You'll be able to see different quality pictures of it. On slide six, what are two things that jump out at you about this painting? Again, no wrong answer here. Just respond to it. React. What do you notice? And then I do, on, on slide six, want you to com compare and contrast the Pollock painting with the two paintings we looked at yesterday. So, again, are they mostly similar? Are they mostly different? What do you think? Slide seven and slide eight are about a famous painting by Edward Hopper. Again, slide seven, three things you notice about the painting. Slide eight, uh, there is a, a short quote that a critic once said about this painting. I want you to put that quote into your own words. Tell me what the critic is trying to say and use one of our big concepts. In this photo, in this painting, do you see freedom? Do you see oppression? Do you see urban? Do you see war? Do you see peace? Pick any one of those. Slide nine is a, is a sculpture. It's called Bus Riders. Respond to it. What are three things you notice? Try and use one of our, please use one of our big ideas. Slide 10 is a painting called Subway. What are three things you notice about this painting? Use one of the key terms we've been talking about. Slide 11 is a section of a poem called Howl. The poem is called Howl from 1956. There is a link there if you want to hear it read to you. What I have here on slide 11 is just the opening section. If you want to listen to the whole thing, feel free. But on slide 12, a couple of quick questions about the poem Howl. On slide 13, uh, we have a new music song for you to listen to, Charlie Parker. The song is you. Listen to the song. It's three minutes long. A couple of quick questions to answer about it. Slide 14, I do want you to compare and contrast the Charlie Parker song with one of the songs you listened to yesterday, In the Mood by Glenn Millett. Just tell me if you think those songs are mostly similar or mostly different. And finally, slide 15, the last one for today, March 26th. Uh, you're going to watch a video of some jazz music with paintings of Jackson Pollock. So I want to see if you can make connections between the paintings of Jackson Pollock and the music of Ornette Coleman. That's the longer video, four minutes. There's a three-minute video there that might help you generate some ideas. And again, do all the work right on the slide. That is the class for March 26th, 2020, guys. You know how to reach me. Good luck, stay safe, and stay sane.